Australian Museum in Sydney receives specimen of living fossil goblin shark. Hi, I'm Mark McGruther. I'm the Fish Collection Manager here at the Australian Museum. We're here in the Australian Museum Sorting and Receiving Lab because we have a goblin shark, which is very, very cool. The scientific name is wonderful, Mitsukarina austenai. These are amazing looking animals. As you can see, they're fairly soft and flabby looking. They don't have very strong muscles. They're kind of pinky color, gray fins. But the most amazing thing about these is their incredible jaws. What happens with this sort of shark is they actually swim Along the bottom in deep water there, swimming about you know, 300 metres down to maybe 900 metres down off the coast of numerous places, the Pacific, Atlantic and the Indian. And what they'll do is they'll use this amazing snout of theirs. There are pores in this snout and behind each of those pores is a little ampule it's called. These are the ampule of Lorenzini and they can detect electricity. And what this fish does when it detects electricity from perhaps a crab or a fish or whatever its prey is, it lowers the bottom jaw and then the whole mechanism shoots forward and manages to spear whatever prey it's after. And unlike other sharks like whalers and white sharks and um, tiger sharks, it's got, as you can see, very, very pointy teeth. And these teeth are used to spear the prey, not to actually cut it. So this fish will generally be swallowing prey whole. This is the fourth specimen I've seen. I've seen two large ones over three meters long and another small one, similar size to this. So then